There's no guides on the internet on how to adjust the tick over on a Monster 900. There's a few forums where people chat about it, but nobody's actually telling you how to do it. So stage one is to loosen off your oil cooler. The reason you have to release your oil cooler is because you can't get perch. Uh, it's on two rubber mounts, so you've got to kind of walk it off the mounts. So the bore scope is showing the screw that I want to interface with. It's some distance away. And every time I move the bore scope, I lose it. So I'm just going to reset myself. I've got to hold my bore scope steady and then see if I can get a screwdriver up there, but manipulating everything. And one of the other problems I'm coming across, or I came across earlier, was an inability to get a straight shot at the screw because the air box is in the way. That's that that knocking you can hear there. I just can't get on it. So I'm now using a screwdriver with a flexible joint and I can only just get next to it. I can't get on it. So, although the bore scope's not showing a fantastic picture at the moment, I've put a screwdriver extended with a wobbly end all the way up. And I'm now on it. And I can rotate it. So I'm gonna try a couple of test runs just to see if I can get the bike to tick over. First things first, I need to make sure that the throttle and its return are nice and loose. I don't want them becoming part of the problem. Give it a bit of choke. So if I give it throttle, it wants to run. So I'm going to have to get back down here and wind it on a bit more. All right, I've got a couple more adjustments on it, but it's not easy to do. And it takes me about 20 seconds every time to try and get on the screw. So, screwdriver going up. Bore scope. Tightening up. This really isn't something I'd want to do in my own back garden. What a nightmare. Oh, lost it. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what surgeons do with their remote, remote arms and they have robotic arms and stuff. Oh my god. The frustration is real. Just trying to get this wobbly onto that screw. At this sort of angle. Oh, got a few more rotations on it. Let's see what we get. And then I stopped and I thought that is a really bad design and I need to modify it so it's adjustable whenever I want it to be. Also, she's running a little bit rich, which means I need to adjust the needles, but it's a runner. 
it's just the disassembly to get to the carbs is so mahusive. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you take on the job, get to work on the job. <laughs> I don't know what to say, really. I don't, I don't have a, a thing. Some people have a tag, don't know, this tagline. Anyway, disassemble, disassemble. Let's adjust the needles, pop her all back together, and have some kind of extension so that, like any normal motorcycle, we can adjust the uh, tick over. Because otherwise, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm getting to be a bit of a dab hand at this. Off you go, you're going everywhere. But it never gets boring, that's for sure. Hey there, you difficult to adjust carbs. <laughs> Made even worse by the fact that they have oil. Let me feel you, let me feel you. Most of you know anyway, but look at that. Oil warmed foot. Mmm, what a pain to get to. Hmm. Anyway, uh, it kind of is what it is, but it's nice to see them again looking so clean and fresh. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta keep digging.